Welcome to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle. I'm super excited that you guys are here. Today, this is a get ready slash transformation day with me. <laughs> Today, we're going to be um, doing this makeup look with the palette from ColourPop Cosmetics. And it's the Yes Please palette right over here. So I'm just going to give you guys um, a, a, did this tutorial with this palette. I thought it was, I thought that this palette went perfect with my new hair. You got that manual here? <laughs> true story, true story. My husband met me for the first time, I had red hair. But it wasn't this deep wine burgundy. It was like this bright, bright, damaged, ugly as hell red hair. So I kind of bring you back memories to when I had my red hair. And I'm not hating it. <laughs> but since we're in fall and you guys wanted to keep seeing fall makeup looks, I decided to do this uh, glam transformation look using the Yes Please uh, Cute AF palette from ColourPop because the colors scream fall. The colors scream like, hello, let's do fall makeup looks all day, every day. So this palette right here, um, yes, it has a lot of warm colors just like every other palette out there but I felt like the colors were too cute to miss on especially that yellow I don't have any yellow colors I mean I just love the the colors on this now for fall it's just a perfect palette that you should have you should own and the awesome thing is that it's small and it's cheap it was under 20 bucks and you have uh, what one two three four you have one, two, three, four. You have 12 shades in this palette. So this palette right here, I am obsessed with, guys. Honestly speaking, these are my color. They're warm. They're... I'm getting this stuff in my nails. They're warm colors. They're warm, they're, they're warm, rich colors now for fall. And I'm just obsessed. So, if you guys want to see um, this get ready with me slash transformation look, all you have to do is keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna get ready, and all I'm doing here is just putting a headband just to make sure that I don't get like all the makeup in my head. I mean, in my hair. So I started priming my skin with my prep, um, a cosmetics blur, pore, pore no more, and I'm using um the Huda Beauty foundation. The thing is that I grabbed this from the the Huda Beauty um review that I did because I totally forgot to record like the first steps to my makeup so I just kind of took parts of that video so here's just pretty much I'm applying that foundation after I prep my skin with moisturizer and of course uh, primer and then of course I'm just pretty much blending the foundation I will say um, a little further into this video so I'm just blending the foundation in and I'm just making sure that everything is well blended Alright guys, so I already did one eye, well I have one eye, I haven't finished the bottom of the eye because um, when I set my under eye, I want to go ahead and work on the bottom part. But this is what it looks like, this is what the shadows look like combined. And um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump in the tutorial and finish my other eye because I look weird. Okay, so I'm going to start using the yellow on the bottom which is called French Kiss. I'm using that as my transition color and I'm just blending everything on my crease and I'm packing on color. I'm going back and forth just to make sure that everything is well blended with this yellow color as my transition, as my base color. Then after I make sure that everything is blended, I want to make sure that everything is complete, um, no harsh lines. I go in with in the more of an orangey color which is called Louis and I will show you right now which color that I use just I totally forgot to um, show it in the camera and excuse my son I'm, I'm a mom so they're gonna be around so just making sure everything is blended see I use that orangey color in the corner which is called Louis then I'm going in with that lower uh, color which is called note to self and I'm using that on the lid. I'm unpacking that with a small shader brush. I'm packing that onto my lid, making sure that um, I have a lot of color because I want to make sure that this makeup look stands out. Then for my outer V, I'm using the Miss Chief in the corner, which is like that darker brown chocolate color. And I'm just using that on the outer V of my eyes, making sure that I'm blending it upwards onto my a little bit on my crease. 
um just make sure that everything is well blended and that the deep part like the darker shade are outside my eyes and i'm just bringing it outside a little bit outwards a little bit then i'm going in with that beautiful light uh shimmery color and the color is spoiled and i am putting that on the inner corner of my eye just the inner corner i'm not bringing it too close to the middle or outside just the inner corner now we're gonna go and do the eyeliner and i'm using the it cosmetics superhero liner i just love this liner so much so i start off by drawing the wing out as far as i wanted and for this look i went a little dramatic and i just pretty much went back in and make sure that the wing was very dramatic guys um, all right so this is what the uh both of the eyes look like i Honestly, try to do it as simple as possible. I mean, I always say if I can do any sort of, sort of makeup, anybody can do it, honestly speaking. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to finish my face. I did use the, uh, for the face, I did use the Huda Beauty Foundation. That is what I'm wearing right now. Under my eyes, I'm correcting with the L'Oreal Pro Infallible, um, what is it? These are called the L'Oreal Infallible Total Coverage. And I'm using that lighter color right in the corner to kind of, correct my under eyes because they're really really dark and i'm gonna go ahead and just with it, the damp beauty blender just make sure that everything sits there like that i'm gonna use the tarte shape tape concealer and i'm not gonna do too much sometimes i go overboard but this time i'm not gonna do too much under my eyes keep spitting up rhymes i'm digging and you can be my fame don't need a fast car to imagine so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna blend it with the beauty blender baby that's on me i don't need a boost this is every part of me and everything i do if it's the money part you're digging me i will take you to a place downtown but if you don't like all the bling you see i'll show you my little smooth side i'm gonna take a little bit of the loose powder All right, so just to set my foundation a little bit so everything blends perfectly, I'm using the It Cosmetics uh, CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. So really quick on the bottom of the eye, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using that yellow color, which is French Kiss. I'm going to be using French Kiss, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the one I applied on top of the crease, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the um, outer corner of my eye, the dark one. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then at the end, I'm gonna do the brown just on the just on the outside of the eye just on that outside part of the eye uh, you guys can see a real difference but it does go from dark to lighter the cute color and i'm grabbing the lightest one too big of a deal and then I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to blend all the colors together. For bronzer, of course, I'm going to use my Pixie Beauty, the bronzer on the top. And with this one, I just do like an even stroke. the Sam Marcel Luxurious Highlight Palette. I've been obsessed with this palette ever since I received it, and I just love everything and how beautiful and pigmented it is. I'm gonna do a combination of these three colors right here as my highlight, and I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. highlighting brush to apply my highlight. So just a combination of those three. I'm just 
Set it right there. Can you guys see how beautiful that is though? Like, what? Um, do we need any more highlight? Yes, we do. <laughs> if you think it's too much, you can just turn it down. I'm telling you, it's super, super pigmented, guys. Super. Now for the lips, we are going to go with more of a nude color since um, we have a lot going on in the eyes. So I'm going to be using two of the colors from Beauty Creations Matte Collection. I'm going to use these two nude colors right here. I'm first going to start with a darker color. I love how pigmented they are and super easy to apply. Then I'm going in with the lightest color in their collection just to tone this one down a little bit and make my lips look a little bit more nude. Alright guys, so this is the makeup look and now we're going to go ahead and transform ourselves. around with the colors and that's why when I went into the video you guys saw that I had one eye done and then the other one I did it on camera because I just wanted to play with the colors and give you guys a different um, look that I haven't done in my channel yet this one with the yellows and the orange and the brown and that fierce wing so I really hope you liked the tutorial I uh, honestly speaking this palette is amazing if you like warm neutral um, earth shades I think you should own that palette it's amazing pigmentation is bomb.com and um yeah so let's just talk about a little bit about my wig because I know you guys have been asking and I will definitely leave it on the bottom part this is a Donna Love wig and this is their wine red color and it's very very long let me show you look how long that is yes I got hair for days <laughs> so anyways if you haven't subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button right over there to be part of my girlfriend squad here on YouTube and if you want to be part of my Snapchat fam all the information in the description box let me know if you like this video by giving this video a big thumbs up and as usual thank you guys for sticking till the end muchos besos see you ladies on my follow in video adios